Now I've got Nexpo's Community Edition open to the home page for this particular web application. And what we've got here is a dashboard that gives us some visibility into what we've done over time. In this particular case, we've got just a single asset and there was only ever one scan done on this particular implementation of Nexpos. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a site now. And once I've created the site, I can start working on developing a scan. So I'm going to say my name is going to be home and I could plug a bunch of things in under organization here as well. Since there are no other users that are installed here, I don't have to worry about access. I can go to assets, and now I'm going to say 192.168.86.66. And that's the only thing that I am going to include here. So I've got one asset. For authentication, I can create credentials. And we're just going to say my credentials are going to be SSH. I have to say the account is for an SSH account. And I can say MSF admin and then type the password in and then confirm the password. And I'm going to say that the permission elevation type is going to be sudo because if I use the sudo command, I can get root privileges. So I can create my account there. So now I've got an account that has been created so that Nexpose knows how to log into the system. If I give Nexpos an account to log in, it will do local checks. Otherwise, we're restricted to only doing network checks. So at this point, I can select the template that I want to use, and we're going to do a full audit without a web spider. Actually, let me select full audit. So we're going to do a web spider as well. And then just kind of clicking through here, I have to select the local scan engine because this is on my local network. I can't use the hosted scan engine because it wouldn't be able to get to my local network. I'm going to leave alerts alone. Now I can just do save and I could do a schedule if I wanted, if I wanted to run this later, for example, or if I just want to keep this and run it later, I can just click save. In this case, I'm going to say save and scan. This is going to save this site configuration for me, and then it's going to kick off a scam using this site configuration. So it's going to use the assets that I added, so the one host, and it's also going to use the credentials that I added. So at this point, we're at a page that's just going to keep updating as the scan goes on. So you'll see that the elapsed scan time is increasing. So far, it hasn't discovered an asset yet. It's just getting started. This will run for a while as it goes and runs through a number of checks. And once we're done, we'll be able to look at the results and be able to generate some reports using those results. And we'll do that coming up.